In this project I'm going to use a PC fan, some 3D printed parts, a transmitter coil made out of PCB, and a receiver coil also made out of PCB. The transmitter has a coil, an XKT 412 voltage controlled oscillator and a MOSFET. The receiver has a coil, an ESP32 microcontroller, a whole effect sensor and some simple components. Here is a sketch of a simplified wireless power transmission. By applying power to the circuit, it will start to oscillate. But the power will die out over time. In order to sustain the power transmission, we have to pump energy into the system at the right time. This is done by the voltage controlled oscillator and the MOSFET. Here is the signal ship on the transmitter side. On the receiver side we will have a sinusoidal waveform which must be rectified to have a DC voltage. This time I have used Onshape to create my 3D models. As always I am using Kraftware, my favorite slicer software and CraftBot, which is probably one of the best 3D printers. When the hardware is ready, we can start coding. The code is rather simple. I have placed everything into a single file, except the font. AppMain will set up the LED and the whole effect sensor pins and configure the timer. Timer configuration is necessary to precisely turn the LEDs on and off, so they will form letters. Finally, the Wi-Fi and the main task will start it. Wi-Fi task will connect to a network and will start to listen for UDP packets on port 8080. The main task mostly waits for the interrupt event when the whole effect sensor passes by the magnet at each revolution. Knowing the elapsed time between interrupts, we can calculate when to turn the LEDs on and off. If you want to build yours, check out the video description for more information. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.